Mary Meet and welcome to Lux Dragon Queen Magic. I'm Taylor and today is our Tuesdays with Tarot and it's extra special because it is also International Women's Day at the time of this posting. So I'm very excited for us to go ahead and each of these piles are going to be about checking into those uh, feminine energies within ourselves as well as around us so that we can really be sure to celebrate our own energies and celebrate the women within our lives as well. So with that, I'll go ahead and see you at the timestamps below. Blessed be. Merry meet pile one. Let's go ahead and get started with your reading. All right, so let's start with your internal energies. And so right off the bat for you, we actually have the 10 of pentacles coming out. So I absolutely love this for your feminine energy, because ultimately what this is saying is that you really have done the work that you needed to in order to set true foundations and traditions that you're looking forward to. I'm also hearing that you're able to celebrate kind of like your home life and celebrate the relationships and abundance that you have cultivated. So this is a really great time. <laughs> I just heard like if you um, if you weren't already playing, if you didn't get to take the day off today, then you should definitely go ahead and take off a day very soon because you have definitely put in the good work that you need to. Of course, my cat starts playing right now. So that's definitely a sign that it's time for you to play too. The other thing that you can take as confirmation within this card is that there is also a very beautiful balanced energy that you have achieved as well. And so anything that you've really been working on, you have brought into manifestation. And so it's really a great time to just celebrate exactly what you have done around you and what you have been able to bring out for the rest of your family too. So <laughs> sounds like this is a day really celebrating your energies. So for most of people in this pile you probably already identify as female so go you and happy international women's day with <laughs> and if you don't still great job on building up your foundations all right <laughs> next for you we do have our external energy showing up around you and so we do have the nine of wands coming up for you so this is very interesting so ultimately what this is telling me is that there is a younger um i'm seeing probably most likely a sister connection just in regards to like 10 and 9 are just like so, so close to each other. And so it's probably a sister or someone around the same age group as you who is within your life, who is working on a very difficult project right now. And so this is the way that you're going to be able to support um, the females around you or this particular female, if you already know in your mind and heart who this is, is ultimately you have been able to achieve these foundations and traditions. And so now you do have someone within your realm who is working on those same goals. And so this is a really great time I'm getting. Also, this could be a very like mentoring. So there's like peer mentoring and kind of mentality here. So you guys have very much been on similar paths and you've kind of just received your abundance and now your friend is still kind of waiting for theirs. And so this is a great time to not just celebrate the abundance that you've gone through, but also how close they are to theirs. And so it's this very interesting, like humble energy coming forward so that you celebrate their successes and really bring a spotlight to them in this moment so that they can continue with their resilience and moving forward with their goals. And I'm really seeing that you're able to do this because you have achieved that 10 of pentacles. So you don't necessarily need to date to be a spotlight on you um, because you're more than willing to put the spotlight on someone else's ultimately what is coming through. So very exciting. So definitely a lot of love and celebration going through and a lot of encouragement too. Absolutely in love with the energy. So now we have a true love reading card for you. And we have luminosity. This is, so I apologize if you do not identify as female because this card is ultimately confirming that this pile is going to be primarily for our female viewers today. And really why I'm saying that is because luminosity is showing me real confirmation of kind of what we just said. So you really have been able to kind of bring this certain light and encouragement from within yourself to surrounding people. And so it's really this, re <laughs> so you're really able to actually celebrate the expansion that you have gone through and like I'm hearing you've become more transparent and so I'm hearing if you like looked at yourself from like a year ago you've gone through like a lot of like cleansing a lot of like protection and supportive energies and building up of yourself to the point sorry about that I just had someone at my door so I apologize because I cannot remember the very last thought that I was having um ultimately though the main message that spirit is wanting to come through for this is that it is again a beautiful confirmation of all the hard work that you have done and that you are truly shining through and being able to share the light within you to where others are encouraged to find it within themselves. So just another great day for, yeah, I apologize. I'm really not trying to say the same message over and over again, but ultimately 
this is a general reading and everyone has a different person who they want to celebrate and everyone has found a different reason to shine through. And so that's why it's coming through as these more general messages, but that's because it just really wants to highlight the fact that this is ultimately the main takeaway that you can understand is that you are shining so brightly that you encourage others to shine just as bright. And so just keep on illuminating. Something too I just heard is that you uh, really today, another way that you're going to re be able to show your love and support to this other person who is on their journey is by illuminating their successes and showing them the truth of the situation. So a lot of times when you're in the nine of wands, you're very much just, um, you can be on the point of becoming overwhelmed or overburdened. So it's really important to maybe understand exactly how light parts of the load may be or how to lighten the load. And I'm saying that you're really able to support that person in this. Of course, I'm going to temper that with be careful of how you operate your advice and how it's received because you ultimately can't control that. But just know that you are, in fact, shining very brightly. So now let's go ahead and take a message from the mermaids. And so for you, we do have abundance. And honestly, just great confirmation again that you do, in fact, have this abundance. It is a great day to also show gratitude for that abundance and show gratitude for how you've gotten that far. And a way to share your abundance. So ultimately, I'm really seeing from spirit that for this pile, the best way that you're able to celebrate the women in your life and your own female energies is to recognize the abundance that you have cultivated thus far and really understand just how far you truly have come. And then the other thing that I'm hearing too is that this is also a great time to start like I'm hearing like you could make new manifestations appear at this time because you're able to see exactly how far you've come. Like you're at the Ten of Pentacles, right? Tens are typically an ending. And so now you're able to go into the next step. And so that's why you're able to, you're also being encouraged to support that other person in your life because that's going to start becoming a little bit more about your reality because you're going to be sharing a lot more about your abundance in regards to your knowledge, in regards to your experience. And in some cases, it is going to be in regards to any material wealth or spiritual wealth that you have gained. So just definitely take it however it resonates and let us know what you're working on because ultimately it sounds like you Spirit is ultimately saying that this is more of a confirmation reading than anything else. And so everyone here has a sneaking suspicion about what they're supposed to be working on or who they're supposed to be supporting. And this is Spirit confirming it and supporting you in taking those brave steps forward because it, you have gone through what you needed to in order to learn your lessons and now become that person. So I'm hearing like a lot of people have probably suffer from imposter syndrome. That's why they're really just encouraging you to take like to just celebrate the small successes around you and support others to do that. And that's going to start you on the path that you need to go on. Okay. Um, now the next thing we have for you is going to be your divine energy. And so we have refine your intention. So this is very clear, straight to the point, especially right after that message we received is spirit is asking you to understand what your next steps is going to be in the process. And so right now, just take it small, take it slow because you do not need to be so expansive right now. You can focus on how great on how great your abundance is and where you're at before deciding that you need more in a sense. So it's not spirit saying like you don't have enough now, you need more to get to where you're going. It's more of spirit saying like you can pause and rest in this point and celebrate, definitely celebrate. Take time to give yourself not only grace, rest and relaxation, but also give yourself whatever you need to feel satisfied. So sometimes when we um, reach a big goal, we don't celebrate it in a way that really makes our hearts sing. So like if you were working on a really big project and you got a promotion, maybe instead of just like going out to the movies and taking a day off, maybe instead have like a fun shopping spree that you max out at a certain dollar because, you know, but it's still well within your budget and it's so well deserved. So that's really coming through from spirit in regards to like ways to celebrate you. And then this is just more of an encouragement to start learning how to become the next stage of person rather than actually living it. So take that however it resonates for you guys. Ultimately, spirit is just encouraging you to take it nice and slow. 
All right, now we have some self-care cards. So these can very well be self-care cards. They also might be some suggestions for celebrating the other women within your life as well. So first we have connect with your ancestors. So I definitely love this because ultimately this is coming forward in regards to also connecting with family. There is a family card, do not get me wrong. So this, the family card not coming up is significant. I just wanted to point out that the connection that you're most likely supporting is someone within your family. And then the reason why you're getting self-care for connect with your ancestors, though, is because your ancestors have been supporting you. So as you learn from your ancestors, you will also, or I'm sorry, as you reach out and connect to your ancestors, you'll understand how they've been supporting you. And you'll be able to transmute those energies into the current 3D world and support those around you as well. Because you just become this... <laughs> This flow of abundance, not only for yourself, but for also for others. So it's really, it's really interesting because it is just this like a uh, constant stream as if you're a channel because you ultimately really do want to be a support of others. And I'm hearing like most of your goals probably are surrounded around the people around you. The other thing coming through with this card is that it is a good time to just go ahead and meditate. So if you're not very interested in necessarily directly connecting to your ancestors, if you, um, I'm hearing you can like also flip through like scrapbooks and go through like a memory box too. And that would be another beautiful way to honor uh, your ancestors and maybe see what natural gifts you've gained from throughout time. And like just see how far your family has come is ultimately what I'm hearing in regards to if you're not comfortable for other types of way that people reach out to their ancestors. The other thing that is coming through in regards to this is it is also a great time to take a rest and relaxation just to pause and breathe for a minute. So this may just be a quick minute to like say thank you to the universe for where you're at or say thank you to where whichever faith you follow and then you're able to move forward. But ultimately this really is more about how much you've been supported and how you're able to continue supporting those around you because you are so grateful for the energy that has been entered into your life. And so we do have another, well, straight to the point, we have meditate. So definitely number one thing that you can go ahead and do to celebrate yourself today is to meditate. Give yourself that break that you deserve, okay? I'm definitely hearing too, like, Connecting to your true resources may be something that you haven't done in a long time. And so it is going to be such a great moment of for you to just pause and get back to your truest motivations and inspirations. All right. So these are going to be... This is... <laughs> Sorry, this is going to be the end of your reading pile one. Ultimately, all you need to take from this is that this is a beautiful confirmation that you have learned how to shine so brightly that you are encouraging others to do the same. So however you take these messages today, I hope you're celebrating not only yourself, but the other women in your life. And I will definitely see you guys next time. Blessed be pile one. Merry meet pile two. Let's go ahead and get started with your reading. So we're starting with the internal energies for yourself. And so right away we have the empress. So we're definitely seeing that um, most people here are probably going to really recognize themselves as a divine feminine. Um, but if you don't, that is perfectly fine. Then this is just more of asking you to celebrate the empress that exists within you. Celebrate, I'm hearing, the creativity and the passions that you have been bringing out into this world. The harmony that you have been supporting in this world. So however you resonate with this Empress card, this is just a beautiful confirmation that you are standing within your own authenticity and that you are doing so in such a beautiful way that you encourage others. <laughs> um, and very important to say, the there is a difference here in how you are encouraging others because you are doing it by quite literally leading. So people do come to you or see you as a responsible figure and wonder about how you would solve problems and issues. And so they do seek out certain advice from you and you are able to share that advice. You have not only gone through, um, I'm hearing you have not only learned some very significant life lessons, but you also have kind of gone through some, I apologize, some traumas though as well. And that's why people are able to really connect with you and why you have this motherly energy because ultimately you want what's best, not only for yourself, but for the community that you support. So I am getting a very physical energy around this. So definitely 
however this resonates with you, there is a certain collective that does rely on you. Okay. And now for your external energies. So very interesting around you. We have the Knight of Cups reverse. So what I'm hearing is that the women around you have not been feeling very romance lately. They've been, um, okay. Very interesting because there's a couple messages here. There is one message where the women around you have not been feeling very connected to their children. Okay. And that may also resonate for you, which is why it's like part of your collective. And then there's the other message where like the women have not been feeling romance. So they haven't been feeling loved or supported in a way that really supports them in their um, heart and their emotions is ultimately what is coming forward. So it is a very interesting energy. So Spirit is telling me that the thing, the best way to celebrate, okay, the best way to celebrate the women in your life is almost to remind them how to romance themselves again. So I'm hearing like you are an expert at self-love, right? You've gone through some very significant lessons. And so you've learned what I'm hearing, self-assurance. And that is why certain people look up to you because they haven't really experienced that within themselves. And so they try to understand how they can gain that. And of course, it's a little bit interesting because self-assurance can only be taught so far. And so in order to just celebrate not only yourself, but also your collective, I'm hearing like if you can have like a fun, like, like spa party day with the women in your life, like that would be so great for everyone because it would give a very refreshing sensual sense to the day and bring back a certain romance to how people feel about themselves and so yeah it definitely seems like there is a certain need to have a get together within this so that probably is why we had the empress come out for you is because there's not just one female around you who is requesting your audience but there is multiple and they would greatly benefit from just learning and understanding how uh what you do to celebrate yourself and so that they can maybe take and adapt those to what makes sense for them so very beautiful interesting messages of encouragement from your own wheelhouse so we do have a couple of true love cards that came out as well and so we have boundaries. And so I absolutely love this because really what I'm seeing is this is confirmation from you as the Empress that you have learned how, what your boundaries are and exactly where they need to be in order for you to truly love not only yourself, but those around you. And that's so important. So there are boundaries for you to love yourself and those around you. And that is what you are teaching people. Okay. That is what you're showing this collective is what it means to have not necessarily flexible boundaries, but what it means to have like, like what it means to be the person to place your own boundaries. Like you, I'm hearing like ultimately, like a lot of people will have like boxes as boundaries and you've made it more dynamic and you're like, no, this is actually how I interact with this person and this person and this person. And my boundary is different for all of them because they are each a different type of person. And for that, that's what people are trying to understand because they're used to just being like, it's all or nothing, or it's only like one type of relationship. And so you're teaching people how to have different types of relationships, not only with themselves, but with those around them. So very interesting, beautiful energy of how much you have been supporting this collective. Okay. And so next for you, we do have the silver water waterfall. So I absolutely love this. This is a meditation that can be done in order to cleanse all of the negativity that can be felt within the heart. And so this might be a nod, something for not only yourself to do, but maybe encourage your collective to do is a little cleansing ritual. We did say a little spa party. So take it to the next level and just have a little visualization of the silver waterfall just washing over your body and soul and your heart and mind and supporting you in releasing anything and everything that does not serve you or your collective. All right. I absolutely love this for you guys. And so next we have our messages from the mermaids and we have communication. So with this, I absolutely love this because I'm actually feeling this is so connected to the boundaries card. And what I mean by that is 
you are teaching people how to communicate so that they can have better boundaries, right? So it all comes down to this communication level. The other thing I'm hearing too is the way that you are, <laughs> it's going to be so important for you to literally celebrate the women in your life and have that open communication and dialogue so that they don't ever think that they've done anything wrong to you or disrespected you. So sometimes there might be communication breakdowns I'm hearing because there might be this cold frontier that happens with the Empress to the Collective. And that's a little bit why they're, um, the Collective asks of you so much to understand what self-love means because they're still learning it. And so sometimes when they see that cold exterior, they think maybe they did something wrong. And so it's just a little bit reassurance on your side to open that flow of communication and really support them and uh, in learning like, no, you didn't do anything wrong. That's just a part of self-assurance is seeing maybe at this time I'm withdrawn because that's what me and my energy needs. That's me and my boundary. But that doesn't necessarily mean you did anything wrong or that you even crossed my boundary. It just means in that moment, I had to step away from that furthest point. Okay. So something also coming through in regards to um, the energy of people trying to understand what it means in regards to the self-love and needing reassurance is um oh, is that you may not feel like you may feel as though you are communicating effectively and enough but the collective around you especially these fem uh, feminine energies are saying that you are not or they i'm sorry they feel as though you are not and so there is this interesting thing thing i'm sorry there is this interesting line where it seems your boundary maybe is a lot closer to where you would like them to meet you but they aren't comfortable coming to that line yet and their boundary is a little bit further so there's this dead dead middle ground that no one is really crossing into and so ultimately what i'm hearing is that there is a little bit more need if you're willing, of course, I mean, definitely reassess your boundaries and understand what it means and maybe just get more creative in the ways that you do communicate, especially in regards to a collective and on a mass stream. And so what's coming through, though, is that opening up more communication and letting them know kind of what's going on in regards to the way you think and the way that you're feeling is going to be so supportive because right now they're feeling very lost and a little bit confused and it's kind of getting in the way of the rest of the lesson. So sometimes if... Um, I'm hearing like if you feel like you have a good solid amount of communication with your collective, just kind of increase that a little bit right now. And you might see a better feedback from people and just take that as it resonates. So if you, you can always check in and you can reach out to people and say, hey, kind of been getting the sense that I haven't been communicating enough. Would you feel more supportive if I did? Or is this just something that I am needing my own self-assurance in? And, you know, the other thing with that, too, is the person who you reach out to, that might be a good lesson for them to know that, you know, sometimes you also doubt yourself and sometimes you still need to remember your own self-assurance in order to move forward because having that open communication, understanding where those boundaries need to exist is so important. <laughs> so it is a little bit of, of you breaking down, like breaking down a lesson in such a literal sense that your collective learns from it. All right. So next we do have your divine energy. And so we have reflect on your truth. Okay. So I absolutely love this because really this is, this is kind of confirming it. So I'm hearing from spirit, like reflect on your truth in the sense of why did you become the empress? Why did you become the empress? What does it mean to you to be the empress? What does it mean to you to have this level of communication and to be supporting this collective? And understanding that is going to hope, uh, I'm sorry, is going to support your hopes and motivations moving forward. It's also a great way to celebrate yourself, right? Because most likely you have been working on your truth and you have still been transparent. And so when you reflect on your truth, you'll be able to celebrate that. All right, so now we do have some self-care cards. So these could be just for ways to celebrate yourself or they could be ways to help celebrate uh, the female energies around you. So first we have flow like water. 
So very interesting because I am really getting the sense that there is some need for change here. So we are seeing there is a sense of cleansing in order to step into this new light, into this new role. Maybe throughout this reading, you've kind of been in denial, not really feeling you're like, maybe the Empress, I am creative. So I'll just take that. But no, you are, you are an Empress. There probably is a collective who is kind of interacting with you. And so maybe that is even more reason why you need to understand where your communication lies because some people have been learning from you and you haven't even realized it. And so the thing I'm hearing from spirit with flow like water is that it is time to move forward into understanding exactly how you truly support these people around you and support these energies around you. The other thing I'm hearing too is that there are certain things that are being released from the energies around you so that you can continue to move into these self-assurance lessons for yourself. So, because you are still learning your boundaries, you're definitely getting that sense. And really spirit is saying that as you learn that there is going to be some need to flow like water. So whenever you're in doubt, just learn to flow like water. So definitely, yeah, definitely if you are not doing any type of cleansing or beauty ritual that involves like washing, I would encourage you to do that at least for today and celebrate yourself in that way. Okay, and then next we have abundance planning. So this is really great. So something I just heard come through is maybe this is something you're really great at. That's the skills that you have learned, right, is abundance planning. And so people ask you all the time, like they're like, how did you figure this out? How did you do this? And that really goes into what you call your abundance. And so this is a great way if you learn, I'm sorry, not learn, but if you work on how you do your abundance planning to the point that you're able to teach on it, then you're going to be able to support not only yourself, but all those around you and be able to truly become a master of abundance is really what's coming through so i'm here like i'm seeing you're going to be able to put on workshops in regards to what it means to be abundant all right pile two i really love this reading for you guys i definitely encourage you to comment below getting some support from a like-minded community let us know what is your abundance planning look like let us know when your workshop comes out and i want to thank you guys for liking and subscribing and i will definitely see you guys next time blessed Merry meet and welcome pile three. Here is your reading. So we're going to start with the internal female energies that you are represented by. And so we have the seven of pentacles. So something that is really coming through here is we're going to find most of our divine masculines within this pile. And I'm hearing that you have been working very thoroughly on what it means for you to be abundant within your spirituality. So what I mean for that is However, your literal abundance is within your life is not really coming through within this reading. It really is more about what you have done and the work that you've put on in regards to your spiritual awakening and your spiritual path. And right now, the best way that you're able to celebrate the feminine energies within you is to recognize just how far you have come in regards to balancing that energy because it is time you are able to harvest. Like I'm hearing, like I'm getting the sense like you could watch like a sentimental movie and not feel... Um, emasculated essentially by watching a sentimental movie and like you could cry today and still feel just as much as a man as anyone else so ultimately the best way that you can celebrate your own internal energies is by just tapping into those feminine energies that you have already learned so if you have become more creative lately if you have been sharing your emotions more lately if you've just been communicating lately or empathizing more lately go you make sure to celebrate that all right. I love that. And so next we do have your external energies around you. <laughs> okay. So we definitely have a queen of wands that is around you. So I'm hearing for our divine masculines, you mostly, most likely know who this is. Um, and then I apologize. I just want to make sure I open this up for everyone who is here. So if you are not identifying as a divine masculine, you are definitely still very much welcome within this. The messages are still very true that you are celebrating your internal energies in regards to how far you have come with your creativity, empathy, and your emotions and sensitivity. And then for everyone here, there is definitely a queen of wands around you. For some of you, this is going to be your partner. Um, yes, for most of you, this is going to be your partner. <laughs> you definitely see them as a queen of wands energy, which is very interesting that we're getting the seven of pentacles as yourself so what i'm hearing if you are going to be celebrating your queen of wands today is to do 
what they are best at. So whatever that means, it could be that they are best at singing. It is time for you guys to get a little crazy. You don't necessarily have to go to karaoke. It's a crazy time right now. (laughs) But maybe you're just singing songs within your house to each other. And then the other thing that's like coming through, like maybe they're like a puzzle wizard or a chess wizard. And that is what you're going to be doing today. I know those are more logical, but like they get so passionate about it. So whatever their passion is, that is how you're going to want to celebrate this person in your life today. Okay, and I'm not hearing just for today because at the time of this reading, day's kind of almost over, unfortunately. So definitely just make sure that you bring this level of passion to them today. And I'm hearing they will be so grateful for that. Um, I'm hearing respect. So it really is more of a confirmation for those energies around you that you recognize who they are because you yourself have been working on your own internal energies and balance and understanding where you are at, that this person most likely has been very supportive you, supportive of you on that journey in not only in the very literal sense, but also in just being an energetic match for you. And so what a great way to celebrate them and celebrate where how far you've come is by trying to meet them where they're at. And I'm hearing, oh, I'm also hearing conversation would be very important too. So a very good time to go ahead and share the, not only the emotions, but the words. So also highlighting like your own passions in order to help your queen of wands recognize how far you've come too. So very beautiful energy. Now for our next one, we have our true love reading card. And okay, (laughs) so it seems pretty straightforward for you guys, right? Sexual freedom. So right away, we're seeing this beautiful connection between the divine feminine and divine masculine. So for those of you who maybe are um, alone, you can still celebrate your sexual freedom with yourself right? So definitely take it however it resonates for you guys. But the other thing I'm really saying is that there is this promise within you and your partnership that you guys are able to freely express yourself in this very intimate way. So if today is also a great day to celebrate that intimacy, and that is also something part of, I'm hearing part of the journey that you've been working on is what it means to not have a fear of intimacy and to really have those deep conversations. And it kind of, it awakens something more within you and your partner, a certain, a certain level of sexual freedom, right? It's so literal. I can't, can't make this stuff up, guys. So the other thing too, because I'm really getting a lot of conversation coming from this. So the only thing I want to temper with is like never expect anything physical, but the ultimate thing that you can expect is that you're able to express yourself and be able to share your true thoughts, feelings, and emotions with this person and this partner. And I'm really seeing that this is uh, either you celebrating everything just with yourself and it's everything that you yourself have gone through and you're just having a great old time or it's this very intimate connection with another person. So it's intimate whether with yourself or with that other person, but ultimately that is the main energy that is coming through for this pile. And so let's continue on with our messages from the mermaids. And so we do have acceptance. So very interesting energy, right? Because we had from you that you are at this level of harvest. We were able to say, you know what? I have gotten pretty far in my leveling up. And I really want to show my counterpart that I see them for who they are. And I'm accepting not only maybe more, how much more you might have to learn, but you're also accepting where your person is at. So something coming through is like your person isn't perfect, right? Nobody's perfect. And so there is a certain level of acceptance of understanding that. And so you're not doing any like hero worshiping anymore. You're not being like a big fan. (laughs) You're not being like an unreasonable fan with your person anymore. You're truly trying to become a partner for them and understanding what that means and looks like. And so there's this interesting compromise and uh, freedom coming through. So now what is your divine energy? And we have accept disappointments gracefully. So right there, just kind of echoing right off the bat the word acceptance and understanding what it means to truly accept. So it's not just accepting the great abundance, accepting the great celebrations of where you guys are at, but it also is about accepting the things that um, disappointed us and the things that did not work out for us and the things that maybe won't be true of your relationship and understanding how okay you are with that. So jumping into it, we have the self-care cards for you. So these could be great ways for you to care for yourself and celebrate yourself, or they could be ways for you to celebrate the 
most likely the woman, but the person in your life, person or people in your life. And so first we have connect with crystals. So this is a very interesting energy coming through. So we were getting some earthly energy with the seven of pentacles, understanding exactly how far you have come. And so what I'm hearing in regards to the connect with crystals is you most, ooh, sorry. I just got like an um, like engagement ring or like just like a, um, a memory ring, a promise ring, just technically because like gemstones and crystals can be made into rings. So there might be something very significant for you in regards to that. And under, and maybe there was a certain promise that you made, or maybe you can buy yourself a ring as a promise to yourself or in celebration. So, um, the other thing coming through though, is that I'm hearing like celebrate your weird too. So if there is a certain part of you that that's a part of like what you've been leveling up in is accepting yourself for what you are who and what you're capable of. And so part of your weird is that you love crystals and there's sometimes like a stigma around that. And so this is just a beautiful confirmation that you can go ahead and celebrate your weird, celebrate however it looks. For some of you too, you can just take the message about celebrating your weird and exactly what that means, even if it doesn't necessarily mean crystals. Okay, because we do have a few others. And so we also have journal, right? So what a better way to connect with yourself than to go ahead and journal out everything. I'm hearing for most people within this group, you probably are gifted with automatic writing. The other thing coming through too is that you can write a love letter, not just to yourself, but you can also write a love letter to your person. Okay, and you can also, yes, I'm hearing if you do have someone in mind who really represents that Queen of Wands energy within you, definitely, or I'm sorry, represents that queen of wands energy around you definitely still write a letter for yourself because you still want to celebrate how far you have come and really see that progress and plus how great that you might be able to look on that later and be like wow i still i didn't even realize how much further i could go so just a beautiful little message there to kind of pause and recognize how far you have come and then also to if you are having struggling with yeah i'm getting a lot of uh communication if you're struggling in regards to your communication with your partner it is a great time to go ahead and put words to paper okay and to go ahead and send that letter and there is going to be a lot of in intention and infusion with your writing to really help convey exactly what you mean and help you both accept the reality of where you're at i'm hearing too you can definitely connect with a crystal while you're writing there's uh I'm not going to suggest any because I don't think you have to have a particular crystal. So if when I said you could connect with a crystal while you're writing and you had one in mind, definitely go ahead and move forward with that. And if you're like, I'm not really sure and you're in the market for a crystal, go ahead, look up what is a great creative crystal and it will find its way to you, right? The information will find its way to you. That's why we're celebrating how far you have come. Because you, have, you know how to learn. You know how to find these resources. You know how to grow. All right. And then last but certainly not least, we have clean your space. So this is something very interesting coming through. I'm hearing there might be an adjustment in your home. So not only is it just at the time of this reading a great time to go ahead and be cleaning your space. We do have spring in and on its way. But also I am hearing that there is a new beginning on its way. So it's time for you to make some literal space in your home. So for some of you, this literally could be just like maybe you're cleaning out like a drawer for your partner to bring, have clothes over every once in a while, or maybe you're literally bringing them into your house, or maybe you guys are moving into together, but there is a shared space that is going to be happening between you and your partner. Oops, sorry. <laughs> a lot more often. And so spirit is saying to go ahead and clean up the space now so that when you kind of like show the space to your partner, they're more excited about like, um, they're excited about the potential of it. And also it's kind of, it's going to be a good confirmation for them that you are willing to commit and take those next steps forward. Again, where we're seeing you represented as the seven of pentacles, because it is time, not only time to recognize how far you have come, but it's also time to recommit. So it's time to understand which path you're going to be taking and moving forward with in order to get to that 10 of pentacles energy. I am so sorry. I keep hitting. I'm very passionate. <laughs> um, and so, yes. Anyways, it's going to be a beautiful confirmation for your partner without communicating it that you are committed to this new beginning with them because you already took the time to clean the space. You didn't have them come in and say, help me clean up this mess. You said, I cleaned up this mess for us. 
And so it's this really great energy and confirmation that you are just more accepting of where you guys are at and how you're able to move forward and you're expressing yourself in just this beautiful way to be able to connect in this intimacy. And then, of course, we do want to bring it so if this is for just you and you are not necessarily celebrating an external energy, cleaning your space right now is going to be bringing in room for a certain level of abundance that you have been asking for. So you have been doing the balancing right and it's going to, again, be a level of recommitment. So I just encourage you to take these messages, how they resonate. For some of you, it's going to be about both. For most of you here, it is about that partner, that connection and understanding what it means to reconnect and truly prepare space for them. Okay. So pile three, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. I want to thank you guys for liking and subscribing. Please do not forget to grab some support and comment below from a like-minded community. And I will definitely see you guys next time. Blessed be.